The Gobi Desert covers much of the southern part of Mongolia and it is the fifth largest desert in the world. It has extreme temperatures, minimal water and vegetation, and high winds with little shelter. It is a large plateau rising at approximately 5,000 feet above sea level. Due to the height of the region, the temperature can drop to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and rise to 142 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Unlike the Sahara Desert, there are a few sand dunes in the Gobi Desert. Strong winds make travel difficult in the spring and fall to this day. Also, the Gobi Desert is crossed by several trade routes, some of which have been in use for thousands of years, to allow for cultural diffusion. The islands or archipelagos of southeastern Asia are another geographic feature of Asia. Physically, the islands are separated from the rest of the continent of Asia. This has affected the forward progression of the islands. Some parts are in a more primitive state compared to the rest of the world. Temperatures are generally warm, although it is cooler in highland areas. Many sea and jungle products are unique to the region and were therefore much desired by international traders in early times. There's a lot of cultural diversity due to the scattered region. Of the 6,000 languages spoken in the world today, an estimated thousand are found in Southeast Asia. Manufacturing is not greatly developed due to all of these factors. The Huang Ho is a great ancient treasure of Asia. This river is located in the center of China. It's also known as China Sorrow because it's good for its silt, but it brings devastating floods to the country. Huang Ho carries silt from Mongolia to the Pacific Ocean. It also merges with the Tangzi River, which creates a great food producing area. The use of silt for farming contributes to planting and harvesting crops. The Huanghe River was one of the main river valley civilizations that contributed to the Neolithic Revolution in Asia. This development is a significant part of Asian history because it allowed for the transition between hunting and gathering to the domestication of animals and harvesting of crops. The Arabian Peninsula is a large land feature of Asia. In general, the climate is extremely hot and arid. Most of the land is desert, which encourages a nomadic way of life for people living on the peninsula. Its higher elevations differ from the normal temperatures, and the Arabian Sea coastline can receive surprisingly cool, humid breezes in the summer due to the cold, upwelling offshore. The peninsula has no thick forests, although desert-adapted wildlife is present throughout the region. There are also mountain ranges in the southwest which receive greater rainfall than the rest of the Arabian Peninsula. Most of the Arabian Peninsula is unsuited for agriculture, making irrigation and land reclamation projects essential. Oil is one of the only valuable natural resources of the Arabian Peninsula. Selling the oil helps sustain their economy. The Himalayan mountains are a mountain range in Asia that cross India, Nepal, Tibet, Bhutan, and Pakistan. Due to its large size and expanse, it has acted as a natural barrier to the movement of people for many years. The Himalayan mountains naturally separate the people from the Indian subcontinent with people from China and Mongolia, causing significantly different languages and customs between these regions. The natural barrier has also hindered trade routes and prevented military expeditions across the region. The climate, precipitation, and temperature of the mountain region depend on the altitude. The highest peaks, such as the famous Mount Everest, have snow year-round.